Here's an example of how to write a mathematical proof, this time proving a fact about the real numbers. We're going to show that if x and y are real numbers that are positive and x is less than y, then x squared is less than the square of y. So what this is actually saying is that the function f of x equals x squared is a strictly increasing in the interval from 0 to infinity for the positive real numbers. I am going to give two proofs of this fact, so here is one. Let's start first uh, with x and y being positive real numbers such that x is less than y, uh, which is equivalent to 0 is more than y minus x. Now notice that x and y are positive and therefore x plus y is also positive because the sum of two positive real numbers is a positive real number. Uh, then we can multiply this inequality by a positive real number and get another inequality in the same direction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus y, which is positive, to get that 0 times x plus y is less than y minus x times y plus x. Now, uh, this is 0. Anything times 0 is 0. And the difference times the sum is the difference of a square. So I get that 0 is more than y squared minus x squared which implies, if I bring the x squared to the other side, that x squared is less than y squared, which is what I wanted to prove. Now, here's a different proof that actually came up during my class about this. So, if you take x and y to be positive reals, such that x is less than y, then, uh, for one thing, x is positive, so if I multiply both sides of this inequality by x, I get another inequality in the same direction, x times x is x squared, x times y is xy. Now y is also positive, so I can multiply both sides again, but this time by y, and I get that x times y is less than y squared. And now if I put them together, uh, what I get is that x squared is less than xy because of this, and xy is less than y squared because of this. And now by the transitivity of inequalities, I get that x squared is less than y squared, which is what I wanted to prove.